us turn to God in prayer. Refresh us with your word, O oh God. Baptize us with the power of the gospel as we hear it read and proclaimed this day. As you did in the beginning, send your spirit to hover over the chaos, the chaos of our own frenzied and disordered souls, that we would hear your truth ringing forth in a clear and unambiguous voice, good news for ourselves and for this entire world. Amen. Psalm 104 describes the vast and diverse universe that God the Creator has made. The psalmist follows the arc of the creation narrative in Genesis to describe the heavens and the earth, then the waters, plants, and creatures. All of it points to God's wisdom and goodness. All of it gives us reason to praise our Creator. Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. You set the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flames your ministers. You set the earth on its foundations, so that it shall never be shaken. You cover it with a deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they flee. At the sound of your thunder, they take to flight. They rose up to the mountains, ran down to the valleys, to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst. The streams, the birds of the air, have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine, and bread to strengthen the human heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them the birds build their nest. The stork has its home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats. The rocks are a refuge for the conies. You have made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the animals of the forest come creeping out. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their dens. People go out to their work and to their labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures.
This is the word of the Lord. 